Hello beautiful people, welcome and thank you so much for joining me on another one. My name is Senda and yes, here on this channel I talk all things fragrance and lifestyle but it is mainly fragrances. If this is something you love and are interested in, definitely consider hitting the subscribe as well as the notification bell so you can be notified every time there is something new exciting on the channel. Guys, today I have a special one. I love, love this house. I love House of Guerlain. So yes, I have one from the House of Guerlain. I will try not to waste any more time. Like I said, guys, we are looking at one from the House of Guerlain. I truly, truly love this one, guys. It's a recent, fairly recent purchase for me. Um, and I was, I honestly was not expecting to fall in love with it. And hence why I got a smaller size. This one, guys, is a white floral, floral, floral based fragrance. And to that, I am not a huge floral person, to be quite honest. I like my fragrances with a little bit of difference, with a little oomph. So florals are not my usual to go to. But if it's done right and it is beautiful, I will wear it. And it's perfect. It's, it's becoming spring summer. I think it's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance for the time that we are getting into. I do not want to make this one long, guys. Let's just get into it. Which fragrance am I talking about? Which one am I talking about, guys? We are talking about this one from Girl One. So this is a doll. If I had to pronounce it, I would say a doll. But I think the way you pronounce it is Idil, Idil. <clears throat> Anyways, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. I think that's how you pronounce it. But this one is a beautiful fragrance and I love it. And I'm so glad I love it because I was honestly scared that I wouldn't love it. It's a blind buy, so I had never, uh, it was a blind buy rather. So I didn't get to sniff it before purchasing it. The only thing I can say is this is the old packaging, I believe. Uh, I think the new packaging is like in the B. I don't know what you call those bottles. Um, I honestly prefer this old packaging, to be quite honest. And I'm actually sad that this is the old packaging because I was hoping this would be the new packaging. When I got this, I was so hyped. I'm like, yes, this is the one I want because I love it. I just love the way it looks, guys. It's so, it's so pretty. Like, I don't know. I honestly just prefer this one to the other one. Like this is probably what I would like. I love it. And uh, this one, like I said, it's supposed to be a really heavy floral, green, uh, fresh, uh, what else is in here type of fragrance. I don't think it's spicy. Is it spicy? It's musky, it's fruity as well. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's exactly what it says it is in the main accords to be quite honest and let's just get into the notes guys i want to really make this one quick so at the top we have rose we have freesia we have lich we have raspberry and the middle we have lily of the valley so people who love lily of the valley show up show up gather around jasmine we have lilac we have peony we have lily again and then at the base we have musk and patchouli so yes we have a little oomph. maybe that's why i like it Anyways, <laughs> patchouli, patchouli is my problem. So this one, what are my thoughts? I am wearing it today. I, the only thing I don't like about this, to be quite honest, is it's so hard to open. Like, I don't know why it's so hard, but the automizer on it is so perfect. It comes out so nicely. Ooh, it's so pretty, guys. I love this fragrance. The floral in here. It might be slightly heavy floral, but it's beautiful. It's a nice, heavy, you know, I get a little bit of tartness and a little bit of, I don't know, is it the, the leech and the raspberry that gives me that tart? And I dare to say boozy a little bit, not too much, just a little bit. And also I dare to say this. Yes, you heard me right. You can take a double take guys. I dare to say I prefer this over Mon Galon. I will say it again in case you didn't hear it. I prefer this over Mon Galon. Right now, if you ask me, I say this is probably my pick over the two. Not that they are the same in any way, but in terms of the freshness, the lightness, the femininity, 
I prefer this one to be quite honest it doesn't really it's diff it's exciting it's a little you know I'm still intrigued and in trying to figure it all out I have heard people say it's a little mus musky I don't think it's musky animalic musky kind of like ugh, but it is kind of musky but the way people described it I thought it was like going to be heavy hitting musky it is definitely there the muskiness I think it also comes from the heavy florals in here that you kind of get the musky vibe if that makes sense probably not but it makes sense in my head <laughs> but I think it's not an overly done musk and I have no issues with that the only thing I would say is if you're not a huge fan of florals which surprisingly I am not and this one is quite heavy on the florals they're just not bad florals they're so beautiful it's a nice nicely done floral note from Galan again guys this one when you talk about longevity it is not as it is long lasting sorry it's very very long lasting projection is what I was going for projection is not that great but longevity is so perfect like I'm not complaining with longevity projection is not going like you know everywhere and not everyone will smell you like that but if they come close into your you know fragrance bubble then they get a whiff of it and I think it's beautiful guys it's a clean nice floral scent fresh and I love it and I definitely definitely highly recommend it I don't know why people don't talk about it more often because I think it's beautiful and I love it and I honestly regret purchasing the 50 I should have gone for the 100 mils but I did not know I would love it this much so I'm probably going to once it's almost done or because I love it so much I might have to purchase the Kusai soon <laughs> um, this one is the EDP there is an EDT so if you want something a little lighter you might go for the EDT I say for longevity uh, I haven't tried EDT maybe I will I say for longevity probably it's better to go with the EDT EDP sorry because it's EDP it lasts longer but other than that, that guys, I truly, truly, truly love this fragrance and I definitely highly recommend it. Blown away because it's floral and I was not expecting it. If you guys enjoyed this video, again, do not forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and don't forget to leave your comments if you have tried this fragrance. And please help me out. Am I pronouncing this right? Idil? Idil? Idol? I don't know. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Until the next one, guys, it is goodbye for now.